Hi everyone, and welcome to another video in our series Linux for Network Engineers. Today I'm going to show you the simplest and I would say um, worry free way to set up a DNS server in your network. Um, for that, we're going to use DNS Mask. We have done other videos about DNS Mask already that had to do with how to set up a trivial FTP server and how to set up a DNS uh, caching mechanism on your Linux host. Today we'll, do, we'll talk about another aspect of DNS mask which is to set up a DNS server in the simplest, easiest way to configure. Uh, I'm repeating here myself compared to previous videos but this is how to install um, you know, DNS mask on Linux host. Today we're going to be talking about the DNS part, right? Actually, this takes as much effort as it took to do the DNS caching, and this kind of um, emerging of the two functionalities in one video. So let's move on to our live demonstration. Okay, I have here my Linux box. I have installed DNS mask, and now actually all I need to do is even after installing DNS mask, DNS the first might start automatically, is to start the process, right? So I'm going to say start DNS mask. Yes, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, DNS mask. There you go. So right now, DNS mask is running. And if you remember, DNS mask replaced the contents of etc resolve conf with 127001 and automatically sets up a DNS caching mechanism. So if I use dig, let's say to resolve CNN dot com the first time I use it it takes 17 milliseconds however if I resolve it again because now cnn.com has been cached it's going to take 23 milliseconds and once more 0 milliseconds right as you can see now it takes 0 milliseconds to resolve dns um, uh, cnn.com that's because automatically the caching mechanism has been installed and that's done by replacing the contents of this resolve conf with with 127.0.0.1 once you do that though you automatically have a DNS server on in your network as well okay so how can I demonstrate that I'm going to use here another host right and for starters I'm going to try to resolve um, google.com okay I'm going to resolve it now with my this machine's DNS servers so you can see the first time it takes 26 milliseconds here it is okay uh, let's do it once more again 24 milliseconds one more once more 23 milliseconds so the resolution time doesn't change because it's using the regular DNS servers which are here it's using the Google DNS server actually right however since I started my DNS mask on this machine here with IP 172.31.0.154 I can say hey let's resolve dig but uh, google.com but using now this DNS server as you can see it took just one millisecond because now the DNS server of course is the host I have on my um, on my in my network right that runs on the other host in the same subnet let's try another experiment so let's try to resolve uh, Baidu by by do.com with this server 0154 the first time it takes 15 milliseconds okay but now the second time I'm gonna run this because by do.com has been cached by the um, my local DNS server it takes just one millisecond to resolve okay so um, actually that's it for today very short video um, of course, there are a bunch of options you can configure for your DNS server. I don't want to get into those right now because it's going to take a while to uh, explain one by one. But at its simplest form, to set up a DNS server, install um, DNS mask, okay, start it on the host. I think it starts automatically as soon as you install it. And you have both DNS caching for the host it's running on and you can use that machine, that host, as a DNS server for the rest of your network. Of course, if you are using you know, this as a, as a, a DNS um, server, 
you want to set it up with a static IP so you can refer to it always with the same IP and so on and so forth um, that's it for today today and in another video we'll talk about other functionalities of DNS mask we're not done with that yet thank you and have a good day bye